Welcome to Yester Quickies, a speedy culinary trip back in time. Today we're traveling to 1979 to discover shrimp pate. You're gonna love it. Let's get started. Hey everyone, got a real quick one, perfect for your 1970s cocktail party, and you know how much I love those. Okay, today is shrimp pate, it's an easy spread. You're gonna need a food processor, just a few ingredients, and let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're gonna want is your food processor with your chopping blade. And I have here two cups, one pound of shrimp. Cooked, deveined, shelled, tails off, all the things. Just get it right into your bowl. And to that, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt. This thing is, comes together so quickly. To that, I have one clove of chopped garlic. And then we have three tablespoons lemon juice. As I like to say, always fresh if you can. Whoop, there goes a lemon seed, but we won't tell anyone. And now here I have four tablespoons of fresh dill. You can use fresh, you can use dry. If you use dry, go ahead and just lower it to two tablespoons because dry spices are a lot stronger than fresh. And that's pretty much, oh, nope, one more thing. We need to kick it up a little bit. So we're gonna add some Tabasco. You go for however you like. We like hot in this family. If you don't, just a couple shakes will do you. If you really don't, you can leave it out. But that addition of Tabasco flavor is just fabulous. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is pulse this guy. Okay, so here's what you want it to look like. Just all chopped up and pulsed in little tiny pieces. And we're just gonna go ahead and push down everything that went up. Okay, now we're gonna turn it into a paste. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out our little top. And here I have a half a cup of olive oil. And we're just gonna put it on until everything is smooth. And literally, that's it. It is so perfect and ready for your party. Now, of course, you wanna give it a tiny little taste just to check for seasonings. Mine is perfect. Add whatever you feel you need. Okay, now I'm gonna change out and I have this cute little bowl to serve in. And all we're gonna do is take our shrimp pate and put it in our bowl and you can use any crackers your little heart desires because this will go with anything. I'm actually gonna be using some rice crackers today. But before we do, we wanna make it super pretty. So I have some additional sprigs of dill right here so people can know one of the ingredients that's inside. Oh, look how cute that is. Okay, and so anyway, in come my rice crackers. and I am ready for my 1970s cocktail party. Look at that. It is just fabulous. It's shrimp, it's a crowd pleaser, and it's actually way, way different than your average shrimp cocktail or bacon wrapped shrimp. So make something different. Your guests will thank you for it and have that 70s cocktail party. You're gonna love it. 1970s cocktail party, perfect. If you make one of my recipes, I'd love to see it. Please tag Yester Kitchen on Instagram. It would make my day. I'll see you in the next video.